Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression try on kind of thing with uh, all the makeup that I bought from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I asked you guys in my haul if you wanted to see it and a few of you did so I figured why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. Um, so the only thing that you haven't seen yet is the foundation I'm going to be wearing today and um, basically it's because I waited until two hours before the sale ended and made another purchase because <laughs> I just, I couldn't stop. Um, so I've been going back and forth on buying this foundation for a while and then finally I was like, you know what, screw it, I'll just use it in the video and I can justify it that way. So this is the Tarte Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. Um, it does have SPF 20. Um, I got mine in the shade 13 in Fair Neutral, which I don't think was the lightest shade. I think I went up like one shade or something. I don't know, but we're going to see how it works. Um, so for my primer, I'm just going to go in with my Pixi Rose Flash Balm just because it's um, a really nice like basic primer. My skin likes it. I've never had it do anything weird with foundations or anything, so just a nice touch of hydration. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's like a, well, there it goes. It's a twisty top, kind of like the Drunk Elephant uh, serums and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to put this on my L'Oreal sponge. What the heck? It's kind of shitty packaging, honestly. It's kind of like plasticky and cheap and you know, like rattling around and it just like kind of falls. Is it supposed to do that? I don't understand. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it, I guess. Anyways, let's just... Oh, too dark. Damn it. That's fine. Oh, maybe blend it in, it won't be so bad. Okay, so there is one application versus no foundation. I kind of like it. It's got not terrible coverage like medium coverage maybe I can still see some like my darker um, acne issues coming through a little bit of redness but with foundation or with, or with a concealer and everything um, I wouldn't worry about it it's kind of like it reminds me of the uh, it cosmetics CC cream with how like dewy and like really naturally it's sitting on the skin but still kind of letting it breathe through and not being totally full coverage I kind of like it we'll see how it looks later once everything's like put on and goes throughout the day and everything but right now I kind of like it okay so there it is with one full application I really like this it looks so dewy and healthy on my skin it's not sitting on any dry patches weirdly it doesn't look terribly cakey looks a little dry on my nose, but my nose always looks dry, so that's kind of just, I don't really worry about it too much. It is already creasing in my smile lines though, which is really annoying. Um, I really like this. It really heavily reminds me of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, so if you have that one and you're like near my skin tone, um, if you use Fair in that one, this is like exactly like that. So maybe you don't need both if you know you have that one already but that's up to you I don't tell people what to buy that's not my job <laughs> um, so let's move on to concealer real fast I don't have a new concealer so I'm just gonna use the combination that I've been using for the last couple of weeks which I will talk about in my next video so take stay tuned for that I'm dropping things so now that concealers on I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs uh, Complice Instant Blurring Powder, and I have mine in the lightest shade 50. I don't know how to say that. I think it's French. I don't know how to say that. I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. Uh, tapered highlighting brush and just use a little bit of this to lightly set my under eye and whatnot. Nothing too crazy. And then also set my cheek area so that I can blend stuff on top of that without it moving all over the place. I have actually used this powder a couple of times now so it's not an exact um, 
first impression, but I've really been enjoying it. I think it is such a beautiful, smooth powder. It really does um, add just a little bit of blurriness to your skin. Um, I don't think it's like insane to the point where it looks a little weird. You know, there's some powders that are like blurring powders and they kind of like flatten your skin out and make it look a little weird. This doesn't do that. Um, it really does just kind of fill in like pores and um, just make, it look, just looks nice. <laughs> just looks nice, you know? So for bronzer, I have the Fenty Beauty uh, Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Inda Sun. Uh, I, again, have used this once before, uh, but just once and just lightly, so I'm really curious to see what it's like um, fully, I guess. Where is my brush? So this is the lightest shade that they have in these bronzers, and it's considered a neutral color, so it's not going to be like orange on your pale skin. It's not going to um, look weird. It just looks very natural, and I kind of like it. And then for highlighter, we've got the beautiful Mark, hey, Mark Jacobs uh, All Over Foil Omega Glaze Luminizer in the shade Worth the Wait, which is their limited edition when they came out for their spring collection. Um, they have the normal um, All Over Glaze, but it's a much like darker goldy shade, um, so definitely would not work for my skin tone, but I figured I'd mention it in case you're of deeper skin tone and this like pearly white shade wouldn't work for you. Um, I do have one that's lighter. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Holy moly, are you kidding me? Do you see that glow? Oh, it's so pretty. I was worried it was going to be a little sparkly because Swatch it did have like some chunks of sparkles in it but I'm not really seeing that on the skin it just looks really beautiful um, it is emphasizing texture a little bit so if you're worried about that this might not be for you but I personally don't really care I have acne on my skin I know I do I have scars I have pores it is what it is I'm not gonna stress about you know my highlighter emphasize emphasizing those holy moly you ever just put on highlighter and just want to like keep putting on highlighter like you never really want to stop yeah that's me right now like, I just want to keep putting it on because it's so freaking pretty now as a $50 highlighter is it worth it? Is it better than the Fenty Beauty ones? Is it better than Wet n Wild highlighters? Is it better than anything else on the market? No, it's a highlighter. Like, they're all the same at this point. However, I do think it's really pretty. If you like Marc Jacobs makeup, if you like spoiling yourself, if you have a gift card, if you just feel like treating yourself for something, I think it's a really good highlighter. Is it the first thing I would recommend from Marc Jacobs? Probably not. I would say the bronzer is like my number one, um, and then probably this blurring powder, and then probably the uh, liquid dew drops. In fact, if you are gonna get a highlighter from Marc Jacobs, I would say get the dew drops just because those are so beautiful. Um, but I do really like it, and I'm glad I have it when I repurchase it. God no. But again, am I ever gonna go through a pan this big? Absolutely not. So I don't know. It is what it is. I I'm, I'm never gonna be the person to say, you know, you you need this or don't buy it. It's not worth it. Like I personally believe in buyer responsibility, and I don't know. I don't I don't think it's anyone's place to say you have to have something or it's definitely not worth it because every person, every situation is different, you know. But I'm gonna get off my high horse about that one. And we're gonna move on to eyes in just a second. Here we go. 
so four eyes today first of all I have my new eye primer I want to test out probably shouldn't have put concealer on my eyes first but that's fine so this is the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base I just got mine in the original um, like white clear package or white clear color not the tinted one um, I think I tried the tinted one and I didn't like it so I'm curious to see if this is any different so I think today in order to fully test this product I'm going to set one eye and not set the other and see which one looks better I guess um, so I'm just gonna take the Marc Jacobs powder again and just a big fluffy brush and set one eyelid and that way we can tell if it um, stays sticky if uh, shades blend out better on the like set side or anything and if it just lasts better either way we'll see so I'm gonna go in with a cream shadow today but first I want to go in with just like a light layer of um, bronzer for a crease shade just to give it a little definition so I'm just gonna use the Fenty bronzer okay so it doesn't stay sticky because this crease color is built or has a blended out beautifully on both sides so I don't think it stays like tacky tacky or anything um, and then for the all over shade I'm gonna go in with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize shade in Marie Antoinette um, I don't even know how I want to do this so I'm gonna take this Luxie 249 brush it's a double ended brush I'm gonna take the flat end first to like lay some color down I think now you could always go in with your finger for this I personally have a thing about putting my fingers in makeup it's not my favorite thing to do kind of grosses me out but if you're you know normal unlike me then this would probably work better with fingers and then I'm just taking the fluffy end and blending that out into the crease zone so here's one side just applied <clears throat> with a brush um, it's not overwhelmingly like shiny and beautiful but I do think it's really pretty and really like natural with just some like sprinkling of sparkle in it uh, so I am gonna go in with my finger for the other eye just to see oh yeah it is it's necessary damn it <laughs> so you can already see going in with the finger you get a much more like thick like glaze I don't know if you guys can see you can get like a much more thick glaze type of application versus like a really thin sheared out application with the brush okay so I can I brought you in a little bit closer so you can kind of see so this is the eye that I went in with my finger this is the eye where I use the brush you can see this side is just a touch more like sheared out than anything else and I like both sides so I'm not mad at it this is a really beautiful color and I can see what Jessica Braun means when she says that when you like buff it into the crease it kind of takes on a different shade so it looks like it's a lot more dimensional than it really is like it looks like it's a much more intricate eye than it truly is I really like that that's really pretty it is one of those products that kind of like it's very malleable so it'll kind of just keep spreading if you keep buffing it so you kind of have to like stop yourself because <laughs> I've already kind of made a mess of like this inner corner section on the side but I think it looks really really pretty and just really like glossy and much more put together than it actually was honestly and then believe it or not I'm actually gonna go in with an eyeliner today I've been using eyeliner in forever um, so this is a new one to me. It's uh, from Sugar. It's the Coal of Honor Intense Kajal Blackout Liner. Um, I think like my mom or something got this in an Ipsy bag and just handed it to me. I'm like, sure, I'll try it. We'll see. Um, so it's just a nice like roll up creamy pencil. And I'm going to tight line with this today. Okay, so. <laughs> Holy crap. 
got a little out of hand. This eyeliner is so freaking creamy. It just like kept moving. Um, so it got a little got a little intense, a little bit more dramatic than I was going for. Um, but that's fine. Oh my. I haven't worn this much eyeliner since like middle school. This is insane. Okay, so um, mascara today. We're gonna be going in with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Um, I just have the little mini size. So it's a really big fluffy brush, kind of like the um, Too Faced one. So we're gonna see how this goes. I used this once before, but it was like, a while ago and I don't fully remember what I thought about it so we're just gonna call it a new first impression so here's one coat on my upper lashes over here um, it's fine this brush is massive so I feel like I can't like do a lot of the detail work that I like to do but I'm putting on mascara um, to get like the little baby lashes on the inner and outer corners and everything my lashes look fine but I don't think they're amazing to the point where I'm like, oh my God, it's so worth the money. Like, no, I still way prefer the uh, Maybelline Snapscare. Like that one is just, it has my heart right now. I cannot stop using it. I actually just repurchased it a few weeks ago from Target. Um, Cause I just, I love it so much. All right, so there's the mascara done. Like I said, I don't hate it. I just, I don't think it's worth the Marc Jacobs price, if that makes sense. But again, mascara is one of those things that is just so personal. Like my sister is obsessed with this mascara. Like she is like ride or die for it right now. So mascara is just one of those things that's just very, very personal and person specific and doesn't do much for my lashes, but you might love it, so you never know. Okay, so during the sale, I didn't pick up any new, like, real lip colors. I just picked up a few, like, uh, lip balm type products. Um, so I just threw on the ColourPop What's Your Sign Cream Lipstick, which is one of my favorite nudes ever. And then on top of it, I'm gonna put the, of course, now, my loudest. Uh, trash people decide to come. Um, on top of that, I'm gonna put the NARS Orgasm Lip Oil. Okay, so this is the final look of everything that I bought from these for a VIP sale. Um, I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, let's see, let's do a quick little recap of everything. I really like my base makeup right now like I really like my base makeup it looks healthy but smooth not like dewy dewy but not matte either I'm really enjoying it um this eye color I like this part of my eyes um I kind of went a little heavy with the uh, eyeliner so that's kind of making it hard to like see and I did get really messy with my mascara so that's kind of annoying but I really like the Charlotte Tilbury color um, it's really really beautiful and I like that you can kind of build it up with your finger or sheer it out with a brush depending on what look you're going for I really like it I really like it so that is everything for today's video I hope you guys like today's video I say that weirdly. I hope you guys liked today's video. Uh, if you did and you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button and stick around and watch some of my other videos. But other than that, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!